Are we are we doing it? Uh, yeah, I suppose. I think we're doing it. The Legend of Zelda, the Ocus Bocus Nocus. of Nocus. <laughs> uh, actually, can you send me a link to this? Or did you put it oh, on yeah. Facebook? Oh, yes, I did not. We're back, so don't say anything weird about Israel or whatever. <laughs> so I said, uh, <laughs> no. My favorite thing. I love their falafel. They got some good ass falafel, dog. Yeah, dude. I mean, I just hate how Israel like always gets me confused. Because <laughs> I never know if somebody's talking about something that exists. And is not fictional, <laughs> oh, or if they're talking about the nation state of Israel. Anyways, yeah, so we're playing Ocarina of Time. Um, Ocarina of Time, and you uh, might notice the boys are back in town. The boys are back in town. <laughs> uh, so, Ocarina of Time is divisive nowadays, somehow. And I want to say my piece right away. That it's great, and I have a lot of good memories of it, and it's still pretty good. Fuck you, haters. <laughs> <laughs> for me, Pat, I have never actually played yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, ne you never played it. So uh, I have seen it being played, but I never really actively engaged in it from beginning to end, outside of, like, during AGDQ, where they skip like way more than even half of the yeah, game. Yeah, I, I remember we were talking about that uh, earlier. It's like you really kind of missed out on everything on the N64. Yeah, so, I, so it's like I have played games that you had when I was over sometimes. Yeah, but a lot of them I dismissed as being like, oh, battle tanks. I don't think so. This is ah, oh, this is violent and crude. Because <laughs> yeah. I was that kid when I was younger. Yeah, um, there was also. Uh, the Star Wars Pod Racer game, which I just wasn't interested in, I don't think. Yeah, it's, it's it, it like that one. That like, one's great though. It, it is, it's it a is, it's a like, very good arcade game. I think it's better when you have like the arcade controls, because yeah. like I didn't like it on the N sixty four that much either. But I I have played that in the arcades and it was ridiculously nice. Awesome. All right, so. I mean, maybe it was just being a child with super shit taste, but <laughs> I thought I thought Pod Racers for the N64 was more good than a bitch's. This fruit tastes gooder than a bitch. Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah. then I was a child with shit taste. <laughs> yeah, I mean, when you're a kid, you just kind of... I was also a child with shit taste. I mean, like, when you're, you're a kid, you just generally, like... You like what you like, and you don't care if yeah. it's shit, and that's what's great well, about well, like, a kid. Well, like, the thing is crazy, yeah. the thing is nuts, is that, like, how, how much, like, the video game industry has changed, like, before our eyes, like... Because, like, when we were kids, it was, like, all the adults hated it. Yeah. Because they hated everything you liked, because you know, Satanic Panic just kind of, like, jumped from different genre and, like, interest to interest. So, yeah. it, it got to a point where, like, nothing was okay ever... So that's why all, all the crude and gross out shit came from. I'm just gonna be boring as me, myself, me. Sure. Um, and I will be you sometimes too. Hell yeah. By the way, I'm here too if you hear a random voice on like the side. We got the Sarah up in this bitch. Um, but like, I, I have a lot of really good memories of playing Ocarina of Time. Um, ha throughout this, I'm just gonna talk about it when I kind of feel like it, but like, I've had. This console, the N64 was the console that was, like, the ward over console in my household. Like, it, like, it had been... There's stories of, like, my brother kind of fucking a, a both of us over on that thing multiple times. So, I'll talk about it as we go through it. Damn. Um, but it was... it That... So, me, those memories by themselves kind of made everything about it much more sacred. Because it's like, now I'm like... I have, if I get the chance to play a 64 game, like, holy fuck, I get to play one? It's I, like, it's crazy. I remember there was a time in my life where our mutual friend K-Fed would invite Nathan over a lot more than he would invite me over suddenly. And he'd always stipulate, bring your 64. He, he just wants to play a 64. using him for the 64. Absolutely. Yeah. A lot of shitty kids did that. He used yeah. me for my stuff, too. Did you guys ever have the have the shitty kid who gave you the broken I, controller? 
I, I yeah. am that kid. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have a lot of good controllers now. Yeah, you do. But when I didn't take my own money, guess what y'all got? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't really remember the N64 that much, mostly because I'm four years younger than you guys. Yeah. I mean, so, I, mean, I remember yeah. the PS1. That was my first game. Well, they were, they were so about they were the, the they were around the same time. Really? Yeah, they came out about the same time. The, the PS1... It definitely seems like the 64 is older because they're using... Older graphics yeah, and stuff. Yeah. But they did come out around the same time. I think we had one at my dentist. So is that the one I where don't you have a... put it in like that? And it's a car- Yeah, my um my dentist office when I was younger <clears throat> had that and I would play Frogger while I was waiting. Nice. Alright, so here's the premonition we're having here. Or else like a nightmare we're having. Um and I mean, everybody's like played this game, so I mean, pretty much probably. I have not. But, but Pat hasn't I, played. I have so, actually me experiencing this for the first time. So, so basically so, done like the DQ on. tree, uh, like seven times, and then nothing else. So one thing you learn about this game is that it's got the best goddamn music ever. Oh yeah. Some of the best fucking atmosphere ever. Um, I, I actually kind of like the Majora's Mask was to you a little more. Um, I'll say. So, okay, so just to kind of catch you up, because we were kind of talking over it, we were having a little nostalgia, and I actually st started it, oh, I shouldn't have, but uh, basically it was just a short blurb, it just said like, hey, um, there's a strange kid living in this town, every every kid gets to a certain age, and they get a fairy. Yeah, Horatio that, happened yeah, to him, yeah. <laughs> happened to Diego. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta, get, you gotta, you gotta go get power from a fairy. Um, which is which is a good thesis statement of most stuff in Zelda. You pretty much, at some point, have to go get power from a fairy. Um, but this is the one kid who doesn't have one. Um, okay. Peter Pan is Link in some other universe. Actually, he's based on Peter oh, Pan. Oh, totally. Yeah, he's, oh, like, wow. his design is 100% based on Peter Pan. Oh, yeah, totally. It makes sense. Um, I, I never they, made that connection, but, like, they, they, yeah, that makes sense. Like, Miyamoto 100%, or not Miyamoto, who, I don't remember who the fuck was more, most responsible for Zelda, but I don't, I don't think it was Miyamoto. Miyamoto. Miyamoto was involved, but I don't think he's, like, the main, I, I don't know, maybe I'm wrong, but... Okay. Um, alright, so, I got a voice so I can ask him where the hell Navi is. Oh, Navi the fairy. Listen to my words. Listen to the, the words, words of the Deku Tree. Dost thou sense it? I've picked up an accent that makes me sound more handsome, do you think so? <laughs> <laughs> climate of evil descending upon this ramp. Fuck the climate of evil. <laughs> yeah, there's no such thing as climate of evil, idiot. <laughs> now, hold on a second. You can't just go around saying, fuck the climate of evil. <laughs> That's just as bad as the climate of evil. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Being opposed to evil is just isn't, as good, bad as evil. is the climate of good just as bad? <laughs> 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 I had a very recent fight about that. Like, I, I, the I witnessed that I, whole I, thing. Yeah, I saw that. I was, I was not jumping into that. Yeah. <laughs> I had a long conversation with uh, with my with my friend after that, off of the okay. the thing, and basically I laid it on the line and said like, "Hey, listen, with my demographics, I can't afford to have the privileges you have. I just can't." And he just basically said like, hey, "I guess I didn't really. I, I, you're seeing it from a different way than I guess I'm I'm seeing it." Um, I, I still, blah, 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 I still was talking about voting and shit, and I was like, oh my god, dude, 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 <laughs> like, what did you the follow fuck? this at all? It's like, oh, fuck shit, anyway, um, but that's neither here nor there, uh, but, yeah, so as I'm looking forward to attack, attacking Hyrule, uh, for so long, the Kokiri Forest, source of life, stood as a barrier, deterring outsiders, maintaining order of the of the world. So the forest kind of like magic, kind of keeps uh, bullshit from getting in and kind of fucking with magic stuff. So, so that's kind of what it does. Okay. And with how big the evil is, the Deku Tree is like, yo, I can't even stop this evil. It's pretty fucking bad. Okay. Uh, so the Deku Tree is like the big god. Yeah, tree. he's he's like the he's like the spirit of the forest. Is all like, yo, dude. So, that is one thing I never knew. Yeah. Deku Tree is too, super important. What the Deku Tree even is. There you go. I've heard it. of it, and I have seen it. Um, the story is pretty simplistic, so it's pretty easy to follow oh, most yeah. of this. Um, I'm just saying that mostly for the... It's good to have it, though. Yeah, yeah. I, I, and it's, it's, I'm not, like, like saying any attracting things about it. I'm just saying, like, that it's, it's, it's easy to digest, so you're going to pick up yeah. a lot of stuff real fast. 
Um, it's That's not true. like another RPG if like we just sat down and played Final Fantasy IX and had to really think about things. <laughs> or our like, other <laughs> long form Let's Play that we started, Vandal Hearts 2. Yeah. That was pretty fucking involved. Um, oh, we haven't even scratched the surface yet. <laughs> <laughs> uh, to, so basically he's talking about this uh, some youth that's in a town. Um, that he's like, hey, yo, you gotta wake this kid up. He's, uh, he's important. The kid without a fairy, get that kid a fairy. You're a fairy, be that kid's fairy. <laughs> yeah. Fly, Navi, fly. The fish of the I, I forest in like, the world. In the fairy world, they have a big me. dispatch board, and they're like, putting refrigerator <laughs> magnets, of magnets. It's like, all right, Navi, go be this boy's fairy. You're assigned to him from this block. <laughs> what if it's just like picking out your partner like for basketball or dodgeball? And he's like the last kid. I imagine it's Nobody a big wanted... involved dispatch system. <laughs> Hi. So get used to those noises, which you've probably had that's been memed to death. So oh. yeah, that guy fucks rocks. Oh, I've, I've yeah, he fucks seen rocks. my brother playing this yeah. a lot, so I'm well familiar with. Hey, listen, Sarah, do you want ears? Um, I, if I have them, I'd probably use them to um watch something. Do you want them? Okay. I haven't been able to find my headphones. It's really pissing me off. Uh with my earbuds. <laughs> These are better ones. No, I wanna wake up! <laughs> I don't wanna wake it up! The great Deku tree wants to talk to you! <laughs> Get up! No! <laughs> <laughs> Tell the Deku tree to fuck off! <laughs> hey Deku tree, fuck off! <laughs> <laughs> Here's two fuck offs for you right here! <laughs> It's just the entire game, you just like fucking walk around with scotch in your hand like Julian. Yeah. <laughs> you see that meme where it was just like a, it was like a diagram of like yes. Julian and the yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, How can Destiny just say I'm such a lazy boy? Yeah. <laughs> he said the car pitches and rolls and rolls. He gets out and his drink is unspilled at all. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hey, D, could you ask me to be your partner from now on? <laughs> Swing me round and round. Okay, so let's get going right now. Alright, so some like painted backdrop sometimes. Yeah. Kinda doesn't look great. Yeah, it's 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 pretty it's, like it's low all... fidelity at this point. Um, I still like a lot of the backdrops that are in this game. This yeah. one is kind of like poopy, but it's like, yeah. I mean, if it were cleaned up, it would look great. I, there, there is a there is an HD version of this where yeah. it's uh, I, it's on I could also uh, there there are some like emulator things I could put in. Now, I mean, let's not I, let's not make this chaos. <laughs> but I, I wanted to avoid that. <laughs> yeah, let's let's not make this fucking let's, chaos. <laughs> I am the type who was who was like, oh, I've got to do this to make the stream better right now, yeah. and will ruin the stream. <laughs> Yahoo! Yahoo! <laughs> what? Ah! Yeah. She just sounds like Mario. Yeah. <laughs> this is Charles Martin that, voice of Saria. Yeah, but she was advertising an antiquated email system. <laughs> A fairy. Finally, a fairy came to you. That's great news. I'm so happy for you. Now you're a true Kakiri, Taha. Is that right? The great Deku Tree has summoned you? It's quite an honor to talk to the great Deku Tree. <coughs> I'll wait for you here. Get going. Go see the great Deku Tree. So, like, you don't really, like, nobody ever, like, talks about their fairies, really, right? No, they do. They do talk about them. If you talk to people, they'll talk about their fairies sometimes. Okay. There's like I think there's a couple of short lines of dialogue, not a whole lot. Or is lot, that like something it, you want to keep see, quiet? It just seems keep... weird, like in a fucking like village where like everybody's supposed to have a fairy. They're like, oh hey Taha, it's nice to yeah, it's nice to see you got a fairy. I'm like who who is this? Like you should introduce us. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I think there is somebody who does. I don't remember who, and I'm not gonna listen to Navi right now because I kind of know what I gotta do. But, yeah. Um. So you can press up on what I. Is. The nah, right stick? Mm, yes. Okay. Yes, this, the stick is the C buttons. 
Man, I he mean, is... we're using a third-party Nintendo 64 controller. Yeah. So. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. And those graphic enhancements I was talking about were, you know, you, can't, like, you, you gotta get the numbers. Yeah, 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 I, I guess yeah. the enhancement pack. I got it. That would go in. <laughs> now you have a lot to learn, as opposed to before where you didn't. The best place to go learn some new skills is in the forest training center. It's on the hill just above here. Yep. So I go in here and pretty sure that's where I get the sword. I don't remember what's in here. I'm gonna to check real quick. A bunch of pots, it looks like. <laughs> is this your stuff? It's my stuff now. <laughs> oh, your one dollar that you earned from like years and years of lifting and humping rocks all day? <laughs> oh, that's pretty easy, so. <laughs> wow, you guys are so generous. Bye. Find <laughs> forest folk just giving me their land. <laughs> 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 Basically, it's just tutorial boards. They just tell you how to use the sword and stuff. Okay. Um, they tell you how to Z target and all that. Yeah. Probably not yet. Yeah, right. I snake. I, there are rats this, down here. Follow the rats. Before that game or after? I think Is it the same oh, year? Because it's 1998. Okay. Then I don't know. It might have been the same year. <laughs> what? Okay, that's a bug. There's something there. Actually, that, it was that rock, but... It... What the fuck? <laughs> I chiseled it. I chiseled it. Ah, uh, fuck. I hate waiting. It sucks. Finally, I got the goddamn sword. That was such a grueling endeavor. Sorry, I'm gonna stop now. <laughs> <laughs> so it tells you that this is so a So sometimes sword. sequelitis is good, sometimes, you know. At least. I, I don't care. He's, he put a thing out there and I didn't like it, so I yeah. can talk about it. Not no, like totally. That's, that's, that's my I way. also agree that that's not that bad. I. Like, that the waiting is not so bad. Do I have to actually equip this? Yeah, I do. Get to the decide button. You take it on faith, you oh, take it to the heart. The waiting <laughs> is the hardest part. Alright, so so this kind of grass is important to remember because it grows back. Uh -huh. So sometimes you're going to be in dungeons and you're going to find this grass, and it'll just keep coming back and sometimes it drops fairies and hearts and stuff. Okay. So you can kind of cheese the game by farming these, but it doesn't always work. Yeah, the, but in you uh, can. Link's Awakening, you could do that. You could cut, walk a screen away, and come back, and it would all be back. Also, what used to blow my mind as a kid was that depending on where you slice with your sword, it cut that way. Yeah, that blew my fucking mind. If you get if you get a combo where you do like a, a like a, a diagonal, it'll actually cut it diagonally, and that fucking like made me scream and stand up and jump up and down. <laughs> Where the sun comes up <laughs> with the lives on the line. <laughs> oh, <of> nature. <laughs> oh, not spoken. Rose go unspoken. <laughs> I even my name. Let's work on some moves. All right, so again. Okay, so so I'll I'll kind of I'll kind of go over what he's saying here, because the text is very slow. But uh, yeah, there's too much waiting. I I can't pay attention. Yeah. Jump attack by Rosa May. So he's just going over how he Z target and attack. So basically, um, all right. So you hit Z button, which on this controller is like the left trigger. You can also switch opponents and things you're targeting with something. I don't know which that is on this controller, but something will let me do that. Maybe you can't. I just did a second ago. I don't know how I did it. Was it the... Oh! No! You just, you just hit the target button again. Yeah, that's right. what I thought. Alright, so... You hit, hit the attack. You know, after your target. Now you can do different moves. So now you can, like, stab if you push forward and attack. So you push forward and attack. You can do, like, a, a stab move. 
And then if you're just like neutrally doing it, he'll just go over the shoulder and he'll kind of do a combo. If you're hitting somebody, it'll do more stuff. Okay. Um, you can also hit the attack button, which is the uh, is the A button down yeah. here. But like, if you hit the attack button, that makes you jump. Now jumping is important because that lets you do dodges. That lets you dodge the side. You can like you know avoid attacks. You can also do like an overhead slice. When you do that, that does double damage. Okay. So you can also do the spin move, but that is something you can do if you hold down the attack button. He'll do that, and at some yeah, point, like, like in we'll, the other games. we'll get a we'll get a magic, and then you can do that, and it'll actually do like a big air like area of effect here. Um, cool. So that's kind of like the combat. Um, I I enjoy the combat of these games. I like that stuff. I like like have, being like kind of on your toes, especially when you're fighting the Lizalfos and the Stalfos. Um, yeah. So that's pretty much the basics of it. Is like some enemies are going to be a little bit more susceptible to getting stabbed. Some are going to be more susceptible to like overhand slices and stuff. Which not many. It's not. It's pretty rudimentary. Yeah. Because pretty much the first time that they've done this. Another thing to know is that with like most Zelda like games, it, you don't really have a jump button. Yeah. You just hit just to the context. end. Of, you just get to the apex of the area, and he just does it. Um, which is. Kind of like Link to the Past in some ways. It is, yeah, a little bit. And, uh, but Link's Awakening, you had an item that was jump. Yeah, I know. I know if that, that item was also in, um, uh, I think, the Oracle games, and I think it was also in the. Oh, yeah. uh, I think it was in the Link to the Past. I think there was a, a Rock's Cape. I don't know if they'd had that. They may or may not have. Cool. Great day, good trees. Our father, the Forest Guardian. Yeah, so so here's so here's the thing with the Great Deku Tree. Um, the lore here is that the Kokiri, um, they were basically spawned as spirits from the tree. So okay. they so they're literal like like eternal elf people who just got born, like spawned like from the ground out of this tree thing. Okay. I, I so imagine they just grown. like pop out of giant acorns. Like, yeah, that, I mean it'd be cute if it happened that way. Like like fully formed, they're just always like that age. <laughs> Have you ever seen that SNL skit where Will Ferrell is grown, who's like born out of a woman? Yeah, and he's with a covered like goop. I love full that Full grown man. And he's like, ah, oh, it was hot in he's there. Like, oh, yeah. <laughs> First thing he says was, oh, it was hot in there. And he looks down at his umbilical cord that's thrown <laughs> hair all over it. And he's like, oh, I'm back in. <laughs> <laughs> That was such a good one. That's such a great sketch. That's a that's a good real feral sketch. <laughs> Will Ferrell is a real dice roll. <laughs> yeah, he do, he does have some like stinkers, but he does have like a lot of really good ones. Yeah. Um. Well, okay. So like for I've, every anchor man, there's a Talladega Knights. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Talladega Knights is not one I'm too into, but I yeah. get why people like it. Um. So, one thing I think is really neat about this world is that Link in this game is, like, as a child, was so fucking lazy and depressed he didn't have a fairy. And now he has one. Everyone's like, "Oh, good for you! You got a bed! You know, oh, you know how to use the fairy already! Oh, that's so cute!" Everyone talks to you in this weird tone like that. I always read that way to me as a kid. <laughs> it's like it's like they were waiting for you to grow hairs on your balls yeah basically and, and now that you're going around telling everybody that you did and everyone's like awesome i'm glad that you're you are now worthwhile to talk to <laughs> because you have hair on your testicles <laughs> you finally have come of age and that means that your fucking crotch is itchy now <laughs> This guy's great. He, he can't see over the counter, but they built this place. Why did they build it like this? <laughs> um, but what if the place just grew like that? Ah, uh, shit, you're right. It might have. It actually might have. That, that might have been what happened. So, here's some sequence break things. I think you can actually just fucking dick around here forever until you can afford this shield. Yeah. Um, I think you also just get one somewhere. I don't remember. Probably. But... Some of the things we're gonna have to buy arrows. You don't get a bow until you're an adult. You can't use a gun until you're grown up. Yeah. So that's just responsible. That's just responsible. Uh, we can get. We can definitely afford these things, but we're gonna run into Deku Babas and stuff that are gonna drop them. Um.
<laughs> That's a good line of shop sell stuff you can get in the forest for free. Don't tell me that. <laughs> <laughs> you, fo you forest folk being way too earnest. I can't wait till I own all this land you want. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what a bulldozer spirit tree. I heard they have build a spice in these lands. <laughs> Ah, the Deku Tree, or future Walmart, as I call it. <laughs> <laughs> we'll build some low-income housing over there. <laughs> low-income? I'm going to gentrify this shit. It's going to be high-income housing. <laughs> well, you got to have one place. <laughs> got to have one. got to have one high-rise over here. For... Your benevolence betrays you. <laughs> we are going to destroy this place. <laughs> Hello, female lady friend. Guess what? <laughs> she took some rupees and went to the store to go shopping, and I just I just took some of her rupees. <laughs> oh, the exact ones that they actually... Oh, nice, all of them. Yeah, so, so the rupee colors are different uh, amounts. I don't know if you knew that, that as well. Oh, yeah. Okay. I mean, that wasn't in the other games, but... Or at least I not think it, it was one. it was in the other one. Uh, I mean, in Link to the Past, it was. Yeah, it was it was in a bunch of the other ones. I'm pretty sure it, it's, yeah, always, it's always been a thing. I know that the other one you played was uh, um, Link's Awakening, right? Link's Awakening is the one I played religiously over and over and over again. It's a good one. Um, and I had a big crisis when we played it for the show. <laughs> and. What, which, which thing happened? I can't uh, remember. It, it was the seventh dungeon, which is just kind of a big, confusing mess. Yeah. So I had my critical path, like, figured out before I jumped in, because... That's smart. Because that level... But then I, like, screwed it up somehow, and I just had, like, this big panic on, on stream. <laughs> and that was back when I, like, gave way more of a shit about it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And didn't just adopt it as something that's going to happen. <laughs> right. I mean, like, I mean, it's it's like it's like you want it to like go smoothly. I mean, like you're pretending to put it on a broadcast, but it's like, but it's like at the yeah. end of the day, it's just like we're fucking just playing video games. <laughs> yeah, like, like anybody watching us is, doesn't care, pretty much to see that. Uh, <laughs> you came all the way you're up here. Real, you're man. a real man. See, they talk to you like you're a little baby. Yeah. Like, <laughs> now that you got fuzzy nuts. <laughs> You have made it. <laughs> Looks like Link has finally received a fairy. Maybe he'll finally get his rod, his he... Deku stick wet. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. I was going to say, no, it's just a cane of Samaria. Yeah. Ah, oh, that's such a good name for a dick, though. That's such a good dick, like, euphemism. My cane, my cane of Samaria. <laughs> <laughs> I also think a big Goron sword. Yeah, the cool. big Goron! The, the, the giant's knife. <laughs> <laughs> I hate him. Also, Fire Rod is pretty good, too. But fire Rod is pretty good. So this guy sucks. I hate yeah. this guy. He's a douche. You gotta fairy say what? What? <laughs> Why would he summon you and not the great Mido? Yeah, Mido, remember the, the, le the Legend of Zelda featuring Mido, <laughs> featuring Mido from the from the Devil May Cry series. <laughs> yeah, you aren't even fully equipped yet. How do you think you're going to help the great Deku Tree without both a sword and a shield ready? What? You're right. I don't have my equipment ready, but... <laughs> but you suck, you so you should through here, you need, you should need at it. least equip a sword and a shield. So the thing about his, like, path thing that's really interesting, <laughs> I'm, not go I'm not going to do it, but I could roll into, I think, this corner yeah, yeah. a million times and actually get stuck while well, he's encircling me forever. <laughs> oh, wow. I, I don't I'm, want to do I'm that. I'm pretty sure though. there's a speedrun trick to just skip this guy. There, there is, and it involves that, but I'm not doing that because I'm not that good at that. <laughs> <laughs> I prefer to actually play games vanilla for the most part. Yeah, yeah. I like a bit of speed tech to save time sometimes. Uh, Super Metroid is fun to speed. Well, yeah, I mean, like, like that's... Man. A Super Metroid for sure is a... But but I I don't actually, like, enjoy Zelda speedruns the same way. Well, because like, a lot of times it says, like, especially with 3D games, you end up just, like, exploiting the graphics and the bunch of, sh a bunch of bugs. 
Yeah. To a point where you're not even like watching the game anymore. <laughs> yeah. Alright, <laughs> uh, so I gotta get a shield. The, the first speedrun I ever watched was uh, like the original Portal. And I remember being really disappointed because it was just like a bunch of like map glitches and not like clever uses of the like the portals. Yeah. But I yeah, thought yeah. that would be really cool to see, but it's just like nah, it's just, you uh, just use it to get out of the map and then fucking. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> that's almost always the fastest way. Yeah. 